Finding a way to curb juvenile crime all across the state continues to be a huge issue. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle working on a juvenile justice reform bill this session. But there are several groups against it. And WJZ in your corner tonight in Annapolis, Jessica Albert breaking down their concerns and has more on what you need to know. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Rick. The opponents of this bill believe that it is too harsh on children and that it could negatively impact their lives. They are calling on the governor to veto this bill if it ends up on his desk. Standing together on Lawyers Mall in Annapolis. These kids need care, not cages. Members of the ACLU and other advocacy organizations demanded now lawmakers and Governor Wes Moore put a stop to one of the most high profile bills in the legislature, the Juvenile Justice Reform Bill. For me, the bill is completely uncivilized. To cage children as young as 10 years old. The bipartisan bill, which also has the support of the governor, was introduced in January. It would make it possible for children between ages 10 and 12 to be charged for certain offenses, such as gun possession and auto thefts. After the recent rise in juvenile crime across the state, lawmakers believe the bill would also address breakdowns in the juvenile justice system and provide more oversight and accountability. I'm talking about accountability both for those who commit a crime and also accountability for those who are taking care of our young people. However, members of these organizations feel not enough research has been done. And this bill will mostly be used against black kids from marginalized communities. This bill is not backed by evidence-based practices. It does not have the endorsement of a credible commission of experts, and it does not provide the kind of help that kids need. They're hoping lawmakers will change the bill, only leaving language that calls for a study on the issue of juvenile crime in Maryland. If that doesn't happen, they want the governor to reject the bill. Why would we be treating 10-year-olds, 11-year-olds, 12-year-olds as if they are many adults? capable of making the same types of decisions as adults. Our children need guidance. Our children need supports. Our children need interventions. The bill is cross-filed in both the House and the Senate. Each chamber has a slightly different version of it. So what will happen next is that they will meet to try to iron out those differences. Then they will vote on the bill again. If it passes, it will head to the governor's desk. Reporting live in Annapolis, Jessica Alpert for WJZ. Jessica, thank you. Tonight, be sure to tune in to our legislative session special, Countdown to Sine Die. We'll take a look back at some of the session's most talked about bills and also the road to get them passed through the state legislator before the deadline. So you can stream that tonight at 6.30 only on CBS News Baltimore.